no, 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 no. Come on. Right. No, 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 no. All right, fine. There's a place in Miami that has a wicked looking grill that it just looks like fun, it sounds like fun. No, 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 no. Sunny Isles, Miami Beach. No. I think when you have a standard, a standard for that kind of late night street eating, kosher, Tel Aviv esque, Israeli, Florida kind of full spread that we got going on here, it's, it's kind of the norm of the restaurants we've seen here. It has to just hit it, man. I think if you cook a sweet potato for so long, it turns into such a sweetness. There's a caramel that's inherent to it. And what they're doing is they're, they're using their heat and their fire in their grill to do the same darn thing. The tahina is dense. It's a very nice sesame flavor. And it, it kind of changes the note between sweet, savory, and then nutty. So it's a fun dish, kind of almost like not dessert, but dessert near. Fresh. They also do the same thing to a beautiful eggplant, the tahina. It's an easy starter. It's a vegan option. It's a delicious option. And it's a simple, if done right. Just make sure it tastes good. Would you eat a sweet potato? I would. I eat sweet potatoes all the time, man. Would you eat it in a boat? Yeah, I would, <laughs> I would eat it in a moat. I would eat it with my coat. I will eat it in a chair. I will eat it everywhere. Arise is? Meat in a pocket. Meat in a pocket. So it's the like Israeli street version of meat in a pocket. It's usually like a kebab, so it's a seasoned beef. And the delights of an arise are gonna be the crispy on the outside because you get the crispy bun and you get a beautiful char on the inside. So you see that beautiful cold, that beautiful temperature control and it's hot and the char is always supposed to be that flavor, not burn, but it's a caramelization, it's a char and uh, it's a crunchy and I'm gonna cut it in half. You want a half of an RIS here? Like the greenage. Oh, you like the greenage. You yeah. gonna eat green in there? Herbs, I'm into. Herbs. The texture is amazing. It's not like a steam chewy, and it's not like a kind of like under. It's really, it's firm and soft and crunchy at the same time. There is a dish called a brick, which is a handheld fried pocket drippy egg. You suck out the middle. Egg oozing all over down your face, just like Eitan G would say. It's gonna ooze down my face. The geniuses here have put it inside a pizza. Are you gonna have some of this? Is this all me? It's a lot of cabbage. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the edge. Yeah, I'm gonna just stuff it in my face. Do it. So when you eat a burrick, the most important part of the burrick is the texture. It has to go crunch. Okay. And then you get oozy egg. And that can be difficult to eat. All they did was put, like, put it in a pocket. Those are very pretty mergazis. Mergazis. We got a sampler of them old kebabs. They got a mergaz here and their chicken. And this is just showing their prowess on that fire. This is what I'm going to start with. Tell me what a mergaz is. A uh, mergaz is a spicy sausage. Uh, how many types of mergaz are there? Mergaz is as good as yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, judge it. The texture is fantastic. The color is representative of the flavor. Merguez is a certain kind of red. Some can be fruitier, some can be spicier. This is really one of those in-betweens, but the grind is perfect, the color is perfect, the warmth is perfect, and how it blooms is perfect. You wanna try kebabs? Yeah. I'm gonna kebab you up. I'm gonna kebab you up. That color yellow is turmeric, and it's very pronounced there, but because you're using such a hardwood fired char, are you doing like that charcoal char? It's a complementary flavor to like a smoke. It carries well. And there's char. It's a wonderful kebab. Yo. 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 Have we said yo on camera? I go like this, which signifies a yo. Oh, is that what that is? That means yo? Yo. So they got this thing called the yo-yo. It is a skewer. A meat wrapped in a dough. It's seasoned beef. It's got pine nuts. I can eat like a thousand of those. A thousand of those. Those are a snacking party popper, right? That's exactly, that's such a great point, John. Barry, thank you, I appreciate that. Huh. I wanna point something special out. When you have kebabs, 
in a lot of the regions and you have grilled meats, especially a grill like that, you are getting the grilled veg. The grilled veg to me is one of the best side dishes. You know I love a sweet potato, yes. but something I really love is a grilled tomato. Would you eat it? Would you eat a little piece of a tomato? <laughs> a little. You know, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> the side. I hope I hope the camera's still on for this. No, you get Oh! Oh, no. good job, Judge. You have been absolved of all your sins. It's candy-esque. Yes. It turns very sweet. These are classic accompaniments and they have to be shouted out because it's a killer grill. If people ask us what we do, it's like, I don't know, we show up, we munch out, and we just, you know, we talk about things. And then, and then they show up with dessert, and you're like, all right, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll stay in here, I'll, I'll much out a little more. Can you handle it? I got a special section you for do dessert. It. He does, he does, I've seen it. They call this the baklava cigar. Yeah. Oh, I love a taco taco. Now we're going down here. It's just a fantastic dessert. In a, in a wonderful place. It's Israeli, it's late night, it's street, it's Miami. This is really just an easy spot to come and chill. Sit down, order like 19 things off the menu, have a good time, but stay for dessert. This has been Nanu Nanu, Nanu 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 Nanu. Sunny Isles. Florida. <laughs> is Sunny Isles not Miami? Oh, 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 oh,